Scar modeling. Um, today I want to have a look at a couple of products that I've bought that I use mainly because of how good they are and how good value for money they are. Now I'm not getting any credit for this or any not getting paid for this this is nothing there's no commission there's nothing for this I'm just stating a couple of products I use that I recommend, my personal opinion, anybody into modeling should try. Because if you don't know this brand exists, you need to. <laughs> okay, so the brand is called Dispay. Now, I'm assuming it's pronounced that way. It's it's spelled D-S-P-I-A-E. It's Chinese. Well, that isn't. I'm sure that's not how it's said in China. That's probably how it's translated from Chinese. I don't know, but anyway, display is what I'm going to call them. Now, you may have seen in my videos recently, I've been using uh, this new mat. Now, this is one of their new mats. Well, it's one of their mats. This is an A2 one, and this replaces my standard old green one, which is still in good condition. No problem, I still use that. Um, but when I saw this and I saw the price and I looked at the details, I thought I've got to have this. And we'll just have a quick look because it's got the markings here for A4 is here, A3 comes to here, and then it goes out bigger than my camera view at the moment because I've a bit zoomed in. But if you turn it over, like on the side here, we can do this, we can move this across. So on the side here, we've got uh, the different sizes and it goes along here, measurements. And it uh, looks like inches. Now, if we turn the mat over here, now we have all of this. And in here, bring it back this way, Look at that. So you've got all your different diameters. Circles there. There's triangles there. You've got all your measurements in millimeters along the bottom. Just take this up a bit higher. Be able to see. So look at that. You've got cutting angles. There we go. It's up higher. There we go. So look at that, you've got cutting angle, you've got all this stuff, there's diameters here going across, everything you can possibly need on that side of it. And of course, my main working side is the darker one, like this. Now it does the same as all the good quality ones, they have the self-healing property, so if you you cut this, uh, it heals up and there's no mark. You, you literally can't see where you cut. If you come back an hour later and look, you won't be able to see where that mark was. There's nothing to show that it was ever cut. Let me just adjust the camera back to the way it was. So yeah, these cutting mats are only $20. Now that's $20 Australian. Um, geez, if you're in the US, you could probably nearly halve that. It's probably about... 14 US British pounds wouldn't have a clue you have to look that up <laughs> now also with this these products I use these now these are sanding sponge sets now whether you hear the price of these <laughs> so these come in a little container like this you can buy different grades of grit for sanding these ones are start at 1000 you got 1200 1500 2000 2500 you can get down from 600 800 even less 400 uh, smaller ones now they come up they come in these little 
container here that you can open up and you can take out your pieces and there it is and they're completely flexible like this you can cut pieces off and make them smaller if you want um, and they're fantastic and then if you run out you can refill by ordering them separately to refill but because these are so cheap this whole set in the box with with and i'll have a look how many do we have we've got one two three four there's actually quite a lot in here uh one two three four five there's six in here and something i didn't realize because i've been using these for a week now is that they get thinner as they got thinner ones too so they get thinner as they go down they start with the thicker ones so there's two four six in each so you've got six of each different grade in its individual box that whole set is twelve dollars you know again eight dollars oh yeah maybe eight seven dollars us again any other currency you have to look that up twelve dollars australian i mean fantastic um really good product and they work really really well they're really easy to use now put that away side now the latest is this so i've been um shopping around for a new set of nippers now what i've been doing is from a local hardware store i have these and i would just cut my pieces off the sprue but they eventually got blunt and worn so i would get my uh, dremel out and i'd angle and i'd grind them back and sharpen them up again but you know that they're not very good um, and they're no good at all for smaller pieces nothing worse than cutting a piece off and you find that it's crushed it so much it's not it's gone on the piece itself the little nub and it's actually damaged the part because it's taken it right off below the level surface of the part where the nub was and now for small stuff i was using these now these are quite good i bought these in a um, supermarket in a women's cosmetics area and these are basically just nail clippers um, but they're good quality ones they've lasted a long time they haven't got any blunter and they're good for little pieces but again um, they they don't take a clean cut they don't cut clean so i've been looking for something decent now the obvious choice was the tamiya clippers now i uh, i found some for sale well they're available everywhere but in australia there's a place called hobby co um, and they had them there now check out the price the price of the tamiya ones 70 dollars i've seen them up to 75 dollars you know you're looking at fifty dollars us i don't know how many british pounds look it up <laughs> um yeah seventy dollars and i thought wow you know that's the cost of one of my model kits you know one 700 scale um so i thought surely not so i posted on facebook actually and i said you know this is what i'm thinking of buying what does everyone think my God, the number of replies I got of people saying, you're getting ripped off, you're just paying for the name. Um, there's better out there. And I thought, well, I've already bought the sanding sticks and the mat from this company. Let's have a look at what they've got. And they have these. And they look exactly like the Tamiya ones I was wanted for $70. Now, these ones weren't cheap. These were one of the more expensive of the ones they have. Um, but going by the details on this uh it, it's exactly what i need i mean what do we got for the modeler um they're forged by a special tool steel through multiple high temperatures these are really good quality these go into all the details the two limit regulators prevent your cutters 
blade damage for negligent usage. They've been fatigued, tested, durability tested. Five 50,000 cuts with four millimeter plastic rods were run during the product development stage. Just incredible. Um, they've got the cutting capacity, uh, obviously not for metal, but for plastic and resin. Caution there, the usual, uh, not suitable under 14 years, sharp blade. Um, not to be used on metal, because it'll damage the blade. Handle with care, so forth. Attributes, single blade nipper, model number, steel, polyurethane, plastic, handle, parts, material, tool, skill, tool, steel. Um, it's got the scale, it's got the weight, 55 grams, plus or minus 3 grams. Uh, handle fit. Now, you go look at the contents of a Tamiya pair of nippers they don't tell you any of this you know and i think people were right you're paying for the name you know i mean all right they're, they're good quality i'm sure but let's see what these are like now th this i think yeah i did mention so this was fifty dollars this was fifty dollars in here you don't just get your nippers apparently <laughs> in here well let's have a look there's uh We've got a the nipper, we've got a holster, we've got a cleaning cloth, and a limit regulator. So I haven't even opened this yet, so without time. There's even instructions for the operation here. Very detailed on how to use them here. And then they, they've got some showing you the different angles to use them for the different results you get when you cut things off the sprue here. Okay, enough of that. Let's have a look. Open this up. Now, this box open. Quite fitting lid. Here it comes. All right, so there we go. Oh, I smell leather. Definitely, look at that. Very nice. Okay, so what do we got? Let's take that out. So this is like it's the holster. Not that you'd wear it on your belt, <laughs> but that's just to keep them protected. And I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that smells like leather. That's that's nice. So that that's that's good. And here we go. Here they are. So there's a limit regulator here. You can adjust the blade gap by using the limit regulator. So in here this is what they're talking about. And that's what that is. A little tool there saying please put the on the protective cover after use to prevent axle damage to the cutting edge so that's our little holster single blade nipper nipper uses single blade design with with better cutting capacity it's greatly improved the working efficiency for model makers okay let's take them out and there we go look at that so they're flat as you can see we'll have a close look at these there we go you can see how they are shaped and they're very light handle i mean it takes no effort at all to open and close these and obviously there's where you adjust the the limiter on it Wow. And they're a nice size. Like, comfortable. But just so light they are. My God, I mean, there's no effort at all open and close that. That's amazing. All right, so there we go. So these are what I'm going to start using. And... 
and uh, hopefully that's going to up my game a little bit, um, particularly when it comes to having to get in there and file bits of pieces that, you know, that have left the nubs on the model because of these old ones that I've been using. Um, this should eliminate a lot of that. I'm just amazed how light they are. So um, anyway, there we go. I highly recommend them. Even though I haven't used them yet, I'm sure you'll be seeing me use them in future. And um, and I'm sure they're going to be just fine. Now, I the comprehensive website for display, I'll put the link down in the description. It's worth going to have a look at. Um, it's easy to see where everything is you can see all their products if you go to distributors you'll be able to see where in the world you can buy these from and they're literally anywhere in the world uh, if you're in australia um, bna has when i did a search on their website it came up with 147 products from this brand so they've got a complete range of all their stuff i mean these guys have everything from photo etch bending to scribing tools, to everything you can imagine, some things you wouldn't even even know existed, and really good prices, really good prices. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to get back into modelling with my new nippers now, and uh, thanks for watching, and please um, go have a look at their website, you know, um, the link will be in description. Um, yeah, subscribe if you want to be updated on my uh, videos as they come out and go back and have a look at my builds that I've got finished and what's coming up and uh, give us a thumbs up if you like this video and uh, hopefully I'll, I'll see you all again. Cheers all. Bye.